You are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy. You would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous. Your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sal. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Um, at the end is the all announcements, um, but if you're watching this, uh, I believe uh, it's the Jupiter webinar. I know it's the Jupiter Saturn webinar. <laughs> okay, so that's January 11. Um, and also, what else? Um, I think that's it. Okay, so January 11 is the Saturn webinar. Okay, and um, for everybody who has who still needs to heal. You know, there's a lot of anger and frustration. Sometimes tarot is not best for us. It's best, you know, it's like we need to get therapy sometimes, you know. Therapy is the cure, you know, tarot is the answer. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> so that's that one. Okay. So you need professional help if you get triggered and, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So let's see what's going on with the Leos. How are you? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Leos. Okay. You got a page of pentacles. You want to talk to someone. You want to send them your apology. This is you. Okay. Either you did them wrong or you made a mistake. You made a boo boo. Okay. Um, page of pentacles also shows um, you have uh, you have the intention to either study, um, but not like a page of one's creative. This is more about like learning another kind of trade mm -hmm. the trade okay so let's just say you are already uh you know um i don't know you're a barista okay and now you want to learn how to be a dj you got me okay so you know like there is something that you want to make another side hustle okay so you understand me right you're you know it's like you're already a good painter but now you want to start writing a script mm -hmm. you want to be creative um, Page of Pentacles shows also, you know, it's like um, an intention to admit, okay, one's mistake, okay? That's a Page of Pentacles. Either you did someone wrong or someone did you wrong and you want to resolve this. That's a Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands in the Hermit card, a person that you're dealing with is just waiting for that message or you're waiting for their message, okay? So that's that one. Um, they feel alone right now and they're they're waiting. They're very, very much waiting for you. Okay? So you have a chance basically, or they have a chance to message you. That's a Virgo. Can we have Virgo waiting for you to communicate? A long distance relationship also. I'm hearing the song A Long and Lasting Love. That's how we'll ever be. I think that's a song, right? So someone is waiting to connect with you. Um, you know, it can be a spiritual person with a hermit. They went within. Heartbroken at the same time. Mm -hmm. They've been praying and waiting for a message from you, and it's up to you now. That's that one. Okay. Um, normally, the courage in our chart look for where Mars is, and that's how much you know energy that you can get. Okay. You can get to go. Okay. So that's why fire sign. You know, basically, you know, it's like, of course they're all fiery, but Aries and Scorpio has the will. Mars, okay? So, you know, look where Mars is, look where Aries and Scorpio is, you know, chances are that's where the will is, okay? Because sun is not the will. Sun is glamour, okay? Ego, look at me. It's never an energy to, uh, you know, it is the sea, it is the, you know, it is the, um, how to say this? It is the uh, commanding commanding general, I mean, uh, chief, uh, we got it, commanding in chief, like the, the president, and then the general is Mars, but Mars is the action taker. You do not send the president to war, you know, or to get things done, you know, um, because they sit on the throne, basically. So you can be in your throne room, and now you're trying to find a will, okay, to text, to message, or they are. Um, this person is waiting for a commitment, can be a Taurus, okay, that's a Taurus and a Virgo right there. Someone here could also have been um, doing some spiritual work, um, consulting the church even, that's that one. They're looking forward to marry you and be in partnership with you, that's the Hierophant, that's the truth. Um, but don't expect this person to move, you know, no, -uh. don't expect, mm -hmm. no, it's not going to move, especially that they have the Hierophant behind them, that's, you know, that's not going to move. They're going to wait for you, you want, if you want to make a move. Um, it doesn't matter if you're the yin or the yang energy, but this person ain't moving. I'm letting you know that already, Leos. Okay, so I want to save you the time 
to think, are they gonna make a move? No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. No, they're not. Because they will sit on this. They will wait for communication. Okay? They want you to speak the truth also if you want to be in a relationship with them. The world card. Okay, this is a long distance uh, relationship. You could have met this person online at the same time. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. It's like it's fixed. If it's a fixed sign and you're a fixed sign also, it could be dealing with another Leo. You know, it's like there is no movement. Okay. Um, Saturn over here, it's been a drag. It's been a long time. Okay. Especially Saturn is was was in your fifth house and it's about to move to your sixth house. Um, so there's a delay in dating. There's a delay in also um, finding love. Everything was on delay. Um, it's a slow process, but it's coming. Um, and this is that part. You want a relationship. It's going to be opening up the doors to you to date, to find the real person that is meant for you. Okay, but I feel like this is the person for you already considering a page of Pentacles with a world card This person means the world to you um, But you know, it's just a heavy, you know, it's a heavy karma. It's a heavy energy with the world card mm -hmm. Get a five of Pentacles that Saturn right there scarcity drought, you know being left out in a cold isolated um, This also is a placement where I'm seeing that you know, no contact, right? Okay, so the world card, you know, both of you have um, have put things in the air, you know, like there's uncertainty, and that's why you want to reach out and communicate. Five of Pentacles with the world card, okay? So again, breaking of silence is here. The opportunity to communicate is here, but who makes the move? They're not going to make the move. So I'm not here to give you a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. This is not a walk in the park with this person. Mm. You're feeling sad and upset on how the situation is right now. They're feeling the same way. Ace of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding back their feelings. They know they love you. Okay. With the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. They know it. Mm-hmm. They know. That's that one. They know that it's you that they want in their life. And I told you, they want a relationship with you. But this has to be broken first. The silence has to be broken. A stable relationship is looking um, at you. But again, no movement. So you, you could easily just turn this around by communicating and talking and messaging them. You know, I don't sense any kind of mis misopportunity. Uh, by the end of the day, this will boil down to who has the ego. You or them. They're reacting on more of just a slow energy, you know, feeling that they cannot make that move. And you are, I feel, um, is gonna, you're the one who's gonna first message. You got a Nine of Cups and a Queen of Cups. They'll, they'll be very, very happy to, to see you. Okay, mm. that's a celebration right there. They're wishing that you guys are close together. Okay, they want the comfort, they want the love, and they desire Nine of Cups. They have wishes. Okay, they wish that you are the Ten of Cups for them. That's that one. Nine and the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Under the Hierophant is a Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. That's the ego, like what I told you. Who has the bigger ego? Basically, that's gonna be the death of your love. Okay, both of you. That's the falling apart. Five of swords, seven of wands is blocking. So someone here has blocked you, refused to connect with you until you basically bend your knees. So it's up to you. You wanna ride the high horse, then there's no movement here. So I don't know. You got yourself into this situation because you want this person, you need this person in your life, they want you the same thing, but you guys make it difficult. Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. They ain't talking. They ain't budging. They they are protecting their own happiness and joy. They're protecting their own sanity at the same time, but they're in love with you. Okay? Um, I feel like you're only here with, um, with the World Card and Five of Pentacles. Okay? The silence is basically hurting you right now. And, you know, it's like, but this is a, this is a hold. Like, the two of you are holding onto your ego. Two fives over here. You guys will learn. Mm -hmm. They're learning on how to protect their pride and you're learning how to bend your pride. Mm -hmm. It's right here. I ain't gonna baby you. This is not the channel for you if you if you feel like I'm gonna baby you. Because there's a there's love right here, okay, that you can have, okay, if both of you do not make it as complicated as it is. Life is like when I coach, I always say life is already complicated. Let not, you know, the last thing that should be complicated is relationship. Because it's all about partnership. It's all about you and the other person, it's very logical, 
Okay, if two people want to be together, Ace of Cups with the Hierophant, discuss it, talk it, and let the guard down. Someone here needs to let their guard down, but they are basically holding on very, very closely, protecting themselves, their ego, and their pride. Because there was a falling apart, Five of Swords, and they cannot accept defeat. They will not, they will refuse to accept defeat. Can be a concern at the same time also, or a Scorpio right there. You got me, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Leo's link down there in the description box for the extended. And next is the extended too. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Hi, Leo's. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your... This is your dailies. This is 12 to the 13. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Um, Today is the last day to subscribe for the yearly and the six months. Um... And um, before you go also to the extended, make sure you check the glamour box because this comes with free extended. So if you are an extendaholic, then this is the best um, the best route for you. Okay, so you get something in return. Might as well. Alrighty. So here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for my Leos. Let's see here. Twelve to the thirteen. Here we go. You guys have. Let's see. This is fast, so you can always slow this. There are three of cups. It could be attending a party. Oh, here this is uh, um, friends, gathering with friends. This can also be reconciliation with someone. Okay. This is being happy, period. A harvest time. So you could be working for something. And then, you know, like you get, you get something in return. If you're working in a relationship, you're going to get something now. Out of it. And it's joy. Okay. Let's see. King of Wands, you could be connecting with an Aries or another fire sign. But if this is you, in the back of your head, I feel um, you just want to be happy. I feel. <laughs> because the King of Wands is thinking of their happiness. They're behind them. There can be someone that you're missing and longing. And then, you know, like you think about them. It's like, oh, the good times. Three of Cups is always reflective of the good times. In good times. Okay. Let me see one second. Oh. There is seven of wands. Someone here um, choose not to date no one. Well, you know, meaning um, they're committed to, like if they want to re come back to you or you want to come back to them, they're committed to that. Because seven of wands is just like, I want to reconcile, I want to be happy with, not with three people over there, that's an angel. Okay. So someone here, because seven of wands for me is like, I'm not going to date nobody and I'm choosing this person and I'm very protective, I draw the line, this is the one that I want to be with, I want to reconcile if it's in the past. But this is also like, oh, there you go. This is also though, um, you know, it's like putting a barricade over there, so someone is being restrictive. If, if this is about reconciliation, either if you guys are already reconciling, you're reconciling. But if you are not, they're blocking reconciliation. They're blocking happiness. They know about it, but they're stopping it. You have your King of Wands with the Ace of Cups. It can be a Scorpio or a Pisces or Cancer, but a Dove is a Scorpio. You could be thinking of a Scorpio over here. And if you're thinking about a Scorpio or that, that, that water sign, they want to be free. It's almost like you guys are going around in circles to thinking of each other and then they think of you, thinking of each other and then they think of you. Like you go in that, um, in that circle with this person. Always thinking about each other, but it's always about catching up, catching on the other person. Let's see here. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So this is a grounded effort to materialize the the reconciliation. Someone here is really putting that effort with a Three of Cups. Because this is the date card. If you guys see each other, it solidifies. Okay, that's good. You can be new, meeting a new earth sign or you just met a new earth sign or water sign. Ten of Wands. So, the difficult stage of this whole read is over. If there was someone restricting, that's over. They will open up and then they will accept the offer. Because this is now beyond finality. This is the result. The result is they have released, you know, carrying the Ten of Wands. So if there was before, you know, it's like, oh, I can't, or, you know, this and that, because once 
um, for me is the responsibility that they had before but this person is not holding on to those responsibility so someone is more free hence I said earlier that the ace of cups is like they you know like thinking about free so someone now is free to commit someone is free to reconcile free to be happy there could have been a lot of um, energies here that was occupied with this a fire sign and now they they're opening up to love Someone here is opening up to this opportunity. The gate is open, if you see it. And someone's coming your way. Or you have come to someone's, you know, um, gate, basically. Meaning, you're walking into someone's life. Or you're already inside their life. Aki. Mm-hmm. Get confused. Okay. Mira. Three of Cups. Someone here is happy with you. And you're happy with them, regardless. Either they're, you guys are already um, communicating and you guys are happy. If not, they're blocking that. But regardless that they're trying to block that with the Ten of Wands, that's about to be over because this is now the result. They blocked it for, a, uh, for some time, but now, okay, they release that because they're ready. Ace of Pentacles is going to be offered. This is my, you know, like, let, you guys are going to spend time. And when you guys spend time, this love will be shared. Because the King of Wands is an action taker. Someone will make a move. And this is this person's energy. Intend this? Okay. Alrighty. So Leos, thank you very much guys for watching. Make sure you check the glamour box if you're gonna go to the extended. Before you get that extended, check which box will give you the free extended read and then subscribe to that one. Much, it makes more sense, alrighty? Thank you very much Leos. This is your 12 to the 13. I will see you guys again, bye. Hi everyone, so make sure that you click the 10,000 likes if you guys want to have um, your own uh, whole reading with no extended so just make sure um, you hit 10,000 and I would read you from Aries to Pisces against all the zodiac and also if you guys want to participate in the raffle make sure you hit to 15,000 likes and then hashtag each love hashtag salvadora down there in the comments not in the chat room and just to remind everybody when you're watching this the Saturn webinar will be um, this January 11 so make sure that you are signed up already it's in the description box um, we're going to be talking about everything about the planet and how it's affecting our life as considering that like Saturn rules karma Saturn rules time Saturn rules it's also Karaka you know it's like for our partnership contracts and marriage and relationship you know it's it, you know that's one of the things with Saturn so if you guys want to learn more about Saturn make sure you attend the Saturn webinar it's also live so you can have you can be, you will be able to ask me question and that is this coming January 11 so make sure you sign up it's in the description box bye guys Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here and also there is going to be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye!